The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a blizzard watch, which is in effect from Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday afternoon. The winter storm watch has been canceled. Timing: heavy snowfall will spread northeastward across the area midday Tuesday and continue through Tuesday night as the snowfall from the storm system starts to wind down during Wednesday morning and early afternoon. Lake effect snow will have developed on the Illinois side of the lake. Increasingly heavy and more concentrated lake effect snow will shift into far northwest Indiana during Wednesday afternoon and persist into Wednesday evening before shifting further off to the east into southwest Lower Michigan and north central Indiana. Accumulations. Total accumulations from Monday morning through Wednesday evening are expected to be in excess of 8 inches in north central Illinois and in excess of 18 inches over northeast and east central Illinois, as well as northwest Indiana. Local amounts in excess of 24 inches are possible in far northwest Indiana, depending on exactly where the lake effect snow band sets up and how persistent it is over any one location. Hazards. Blizzard conditions with considerable blowing and drifting snow and frequent whiteout conditions, impacts, nearly impossible travel conditions as snow will be accumulating at a rapid rate during the peak of the snow. Storm Tuesday afternoon and night, heavy lake effect snow in northwest Indiana later Wednesday and Wednesday evening will continue to snarl travel there. A blizzard watch means there is a potential for falling and or blowing snow with strong winds and extremely poor visibilities. This can lead to whiteout conditions and make travel very dangerous. Blizzard warning in effect from 3 p.m. CST 4 p.m. S Tuesday to 3 p.m. CST 4 p.m. S Wednesday. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a blizzard warning, which is in effect from 3 p.m. CST 4 p.m. S Tuesday to 3 p.m. CST 4 p.m. S Wednesday. The blizzard warning replaces the blizzard watch. Timing: Snow will increase in intensity and. Become heavy at times west of Interstate 39 Tuesday afternoon, gradually spreading east into northern Illinois by Tuesday evening. Snow, which will be heavy at times, will continue Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Lake enhanced snow squalls will continue near Lake Michigan in northeast Illinois Wednesday morning, shifting it to northwest Indiana during the afternoon. Northeast winds of 35 to 45 miles per hour with stronger gusts up to 70 miles per hour will result in extremely dangerous blizzard conditions developing late Tuesday afternoon and continuing through the overnight hours. Accumulations, snow accumulations in excess of 36 inches are expected over much of the area from Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday afternoon. Localized totals in excess of 48 inches remain possible, especially in Cook, Lake and DuPage counties. Hazards: White out conditions are expected at times Tuesday night as very heavy snow and strong winds result in blizzard conditions. Snowfall rates of at least 3 to 5 inches per hour are possible, especially where thunder snow may be present. Impacts: Conditions will rapidly deteriorate from west to east across the region Tuesday afternoon, with travel likely becoming virtually impossible at times Tuesday night and into early Wednesday morning. Snow is expected to fall so heavily at times Tuesday night that plows may be unable to keep up with the snow, with many side streets and untreated roads becoming impassable. A blizzard warning means severe winter weather conditions are expected or occurring. Falling and blowing snow with strong winds and poor visibilities are likely. This will lead to whiteout conditions, making travel extremely dangerous. Do not travel if you must travel. Have a winter survival kit with you. If you get stranded, stay with your vehicle.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Emergency Management Agency for Dupage County, Illinois, because of live threatening blizzard conditions. Roads across Cook County are closed to all traffic. Emergency responders are having difficulty reaching numerous stranded motorists. Driving will continue to be nearly impossible for the next several hours. If you become stranded, emergency vehicles may not be able to reach you. If you are stranded, do not leave your vehicle. Run your vehicle 10 minutes per hour. Make sure your exhaust pipe is not snow covered and crack or open a downwind window for ventilation. All resources are being used to reach stranded motorists. Please do not drive unless absolutely necessary. Doing so will put your life at risk.